For us, music voyage becomes more tangible when we immerse ourselves in the grand song of the Dong ethnic group. With no written language, Dong people pass down their stories orally through songs sung in chorus. No conductor, no accompaniment. It's sung a cappella. The number of singers can be as few as one or two, or as many as 10,000. This is where the name Grand Song originates. As an encyclopedia of Dong social customs, the Grand Song sings of Dong culture, telling stories of kindness, sincerity, friendship, love, social harmony, and respect for nature and one's ancestors. But above all, it is the theme of love which dominates. The chorus is usually made up of a family or group of friends. And the foremost site for a performance is the local drum tower. It's common for the host group to invite visiting guests to join in and sing antiphonally. When we arrive in Zhaoxing Dong village, we aren't stopped by the local people. It may be because we use the secret passwords, a phrase which every Dong person knows. Food nourishes the body, and songs nourish the mind. Yeah.